Water pump speed is something most enthusiasts don't think about when it comes to diagnosing an overheating concern. It usually only comes up in horsepower conversations. Performance pulleys will use a large pulley on the water pump, reducing its speed in relation to the crankshaft. This is under driving the pump. However, on a street engine, the reduced speed will cause the engine to run at a higher temperature. The higher temperature will always cost more horsepower than what you're going to gain by reducing the water pump speed. Now while we're on the topic of slowing the water pump down, I've heard it said many times that if the water pump is moving water too quickly, there isn't enough time for heat transfer to take place in the radiator. Therefore, restrictors are used to slow, slow the speed down. However, this theory is only taking into consideration half of the system. If the water is taking its time to pass through the radiator, it's also taking its time to pass through the cooling passages of the engine. This means that the coolant in the engine is running at a higher temperature. This can lead to hot spots and engine failures. In fact, the water inside the radiator tubes must be moving with enough velocity to create turbulence in the water. Without turbulence, the water flowing through the center of the tube never comes in contact with the aluminum. Increased speed causes the water in the center to be forced outward, making contact with the tube and transferring heat. That brings me to my final point. Radiators come in several different core configurations. So keep in mind that each time a core is added, the restriction to coolant flow is increased. The water pump must create more pressure to move the same volume through the radiator. If your pump isn't spinning fast enough, there may not be enough pressure to move water through the radiator at low RPM. So here is our hardcore tech tip of the week. If you're driving on the street, make sure the water pump pulley is at least the same size, if not smaller, than the crankshaft pulley. A 25% overdriven pulley is recommended. If your engine is still running a fever, verify the radiator and thermostat are not causing a restriction to flow. We recommend a single or dual core radiator at most and a high flow thermostat. Now if the engine is only overheating when the vehicle is not moving, then you might want to check out our video on electric cooling fan selection as well. I'm Eric Labore with Prestige Motorsports. If you have any questions about cooling your engine, please send us a message through our website at prestigemoto.com.